All right. So how did we start before? Um, I, f- I forget. Let's go. You can start. So welcome to Mathematics 1A at, uh, at UNSW. Yep. Um, we're going to just tell you a little bit about uh, the course. Not everything you need to know, obviously, but uh, just to get you off to a good start. Yeah, so, the first thing you need to know is uh, what's going on. So in week one, you will only have lectures. There's nothing else going on. Just turn up to your lectures. That's enough. Uh, in week two, or well, from week two, there will be lectures and tutorials. And your where your tutorial uh, is precisely will be in your timetable. But it will be in e- on either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday up until Wednesday afternoon. Uh, this will go on until week five. You have a Maple Online test in week five. You have a classroom test in week five, in six. And you have another Maple Online test in week seven. Then you make it to the break. Uh, after the break, you have uh, you have week 10, which is just lecture and tutorial. And then in week 11, that's a busy week. You have a Maple Lab test as well as a classroom test. Yeah, the lab test will be at the beginning of the week, Monday, whereas the, the uh, class test will be in the second half of the week. Good, so it's spread out a little bit. Um, and then there's one final lecture in week 12. Uh, there is no lecture in week 13. There will be a tutorial in week 13, and uh, and that's the timetable. In your tutorials, there are well, your tutorials in the classroom will start with a calculus tutorial and then alternate calculus to algebra, calculus, algebra, calculus, algebra. There are also these things called online tutorials, which are due on Sunday night starting in week two. So you have a Sunday, uh, you have a algebra calcul- an algebra online tutorial to accompany your calculus classroom tutorial. So everything is nice and harmoniously balanced. And again, these also alternate. So you have a algebra classroom tutorial and a calculus online tutorial in week three and so on. But there'll be lots of uh, lots of notices and links to this kind yeah, of stuff so the, in our lovely discussion forum. That's right. We're having a discussion forum called Ed. This is uh, new to us. We're trialing it out, but it looks pretty good. And um, in there, we'll, apart from lots of useful discussions we hope you'll get involved in, uh, there will be uh, some pages which have uh, a sort of guide to what to do in the week and particularly what to do in the online tutorial. The online tutorial is going to consist of some videos and also some exercises on, on Maple, a system called Maple TA. Um, so there'll be, be links there that show you what to do and how to get to that. Yeah, and please discuss and talk about the questions and what you've tried using this discussion forum. So there'll be lots of opportunities for you to say, to, uh, to ask a question or ask uh, anything you like. And there'll be other students and people such as myself who will be on the forums and answering questions. And um, So please make, make use of it. If you do have questions, just type, type away and, and you will get answers. Mm. So the other, the other part of the course we sort of briefly touched on is Maple. Uh, this Maple is a computer software package, and that's sort of separate from the um, uh, lectures and tutorials. Um, and it's, you're learning how to use uh, basically sort of scientific computing. It's sort of coding. It's just a particular uh, programming language, really, but it's really good for maths. And um, I guess there's lots of other systems you could uh, be using sort of uh, mathematically in the future, like MATLAB, for example. But learning to use one makes it really easy to figure out how to use other. They're all very similar in the way they, they work, aren't they? Mm. And a lot of computing packages will have a specialist mathematics kind of sub-language within them, if you like. So if you learn one, you'll be able to do this kind of powerful mathematical computing in any any language. For those and is that you. useful to do, use mathematics on a computer? I, I use it all the time, <laughs> but that's only because I work here. Yeah. No, <laughs> no it's, so, it's so useful. And uh, if you do end up using mathematics in your chosen career, then it will be through a computer using one of these mathematical style languages. So please come at this with an open mind. It is going to be different to what you've done before, but it's certainly something that employers look favorably upon. Okay, did I, did I talk about uh, the assumed knowledge for this course? No, we should talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we should mention that. So uh, we're assuming that you have done uh, HSE extension one. Now, of course, not everybody has done that. Some people come from somewhere else. Um, if you're not sure about uh, your level of uh, assumed knowledge, it's best just to come and have a chat with me or send me an email. Um, if you haven't done quite enough to, for, for that, then it's probably good to think about doing Math 1011 instead to uh, just sort of catch up. It's, it's, not, it's not a pleasant experience to do this course without having the, the right uh, background knowledge, but um, most of you should be, should be in the right spot. So um, mm. We certainly do assume a lot, especially yeah. in the calculus component of the course, which is, assumes that mostly uh, the New South Wales mathematics uh, standard of syllab- uh, calculus. So if you don't have that, then um, th- this course will help you get there. Yeah. That's Math 1011 yep. would help you get there, yes. Okay, well, I think that's probably all we need to uh, say for now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, except enjoy the course, and uh, we'll see you during the semester.
that works. Yeah.